Shalom, and as you know right now, we've got a lot of controversies going on right now with this Kanye West and these other, um, you know, these minions that Esau has raised up, you know, who are from the tribe of Israel, uh, so-called Black Native Americans and Latinos, who are out there creating, uh, not for all, basically, uh, for what um, what is being said out there in the media. And so what we have right now is all eyes is on us, okay? Now let's go into the book of Luke 10 and verse 2, and it says, Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into this harvest. Now, these laborers are not going to be the Kanye West and the Jay-Z and the Beyonce. In fact, okay, they are going to be the ones that are going to try to sabotage, okay, maybe pour gasoline on the harvest so that the harvest can be reaped, okay? And they're going to be the ones that's going to be pushing out this uh, acceptance of this MOTB. But this is the you brothers out there that are actually in this truth who are actually, you know, following the, the apostles, teachers, and elders from great Muslim and likewise brothers, okay, who have these precepts, okay, who are not going on the highway and the byway to do your part because you are afraid of the great power of this nation nation okay out of this doggone wicked devil he saw the so-called white man and in reality you actually have some sort of love or innate love for this place you still really don't want to see babylon uh be destroyed okay now i may be wrong about that but you have to you have to think about that because you're not stepping out there and doing your part okay let's go into the book of isaiah 45 and 7 and it says I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai, do all things. So who's controlling everything? The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Take a look at this video here. What do you see here? You see the left hand who's controlling what? The wicked of this earth. Okay, these are the elites. The elites uh, have the uh, other billionaires who are uh, the stars of this uh, this earth. Okay, you know, in terms of running big businesses, conglomerates. Okay, on a puppet string. Those guys in turn have what these governments across this planet on a puppet string okay and the government on this planet okay these presidents and these leaders of these 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 nations okay have their people on a puppet string vice versa going all the way down but who has the hand over the left side the lord yahabashim yashai and who has the hand so on the right side which is the uh, elder season apostle great millstone likewise brothers who are bringing out this truth okay the lord so the lord controls what the light and the darkness he controls good and evil it says drop down ye heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together i the lord yahweh i have created it woe unto him that striveth with his maker and who's striving with the maker esau the Edomite, the so-called white man, the white man is striving with his maker because this is the man that says that he is going to exalt his his queendom, okay, above the heights of the Lord Yahweh Shai, okay, and he has right now under his under his finger, okay, the the, the Hebrew Israelites, okay. Yasharala, a so-called Black Native Americans and Latinos, and he's enjoying all of his wickedness. Let's go into the book of Isaiah because, see, there's a penalty when you are holding back. There's a penalty for being a coward, okay, in this truth. There's a penalty when you still harvest that love and affection for Egypt deep in your heart, okay? And you might be trying to hide it, okay? But it's going to manifest itself. This is the book of Isaiah 31 and 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt, which this place is known as spiritual Egypt, okay, great Babylon, America, for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it's not only believing, okay? It's not only believing, you also have to do the work, okay? That is seeking the, the, the favor of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? That is showing and proving, okay, that you, okay, are part of that elect, okay? You are, you want to be part of that, hopefully, elect. That's the reason why we come when we say it. We don't dare say that we are the elect. We say we are part of the hopefully elect. So we are making a strong case in front of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, by putting out these lessons, stepping on the highway and the byway, looking these doggone devils in their eyes and tell them, you're going to be a slave, okay, for a thousand years, and then we're going to put you to dog on death okay you have murdered and killed rape and pillage okay our people for centuries okay and you are an abomination to this earth okay and we hate you and we're going to destroy you okay with this truth okay and this is what you will need to do because if you don't do this you can end up being like this guy here And it's going to be too doggone late. Okay, let's go into the book of Zechariah. Okay, because you need to understand this. Okay, the 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 cowards are going to be what? They're going to be deleted. Okay, this is the book of Zechariah 13, stand verse 8, and it says, "And it shall come to pass that in the land," said the Lord, "Yahweh by Shemashai, two parts therein should be cut off and die." So if you're not doing the work and you have the truth, you have the ability to do it, then you're going to be part of that two, that two, two thirds, okay? And we are going to pray that you are be, you're going to be part of that two thirds, especially if you were meant to go out there on the highway and the byway and you're not doing it, okay? Now we understand that the Jay Z's and the Kanye West and those, okay, automatically, okay, they are 
in this world, okay, to please who? Their master Esau, the so-called white man, okay? So they don't have, okay, any fear of the Lord as such to, do, to, to stand up, okay, boldly against this man, okay? So this is why you see the cowering down. This man is actually using them to go there and create this great confusion, but it's not going to work. Let's continue. It says, but the third shall be left therein, okay? And it says, I will bring the third part through the fire. Take a look at this. This is what you want to do, okay? You want to be part of these men, okay? You want to be part of the man that's going to be written in the history that's going to go on forever and ever and ever and ever because the earth has no end when Yahweh Shai Mashiach returns, okay? That you stood up boldly against this doggone devil, okay? With what? A Bible in your hand. And it says, and we'll refine them as silver is refined. I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name. And I will hear them. What is the name? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is my power. Okay? So this is why we it's important that we go there and let our people know that there is hope, okay? We do not have a standing military force to go up against this man, okay? But what we do know is this truth and is what? The angels are guarding the prophets, okay? And we also know that our Heavenly Father, okay, whose son is Yahushua Mashiach, has, is going to return, okay, with an angelic force, never, ever seen before. And we can't even possibly imagine what it actually looks like, okay? And it's going to what? Put down our enemy and our work, okay, will be all worth it. Let's go into the book of Psalms, okay? This is the book of Psalms 2 and starting with verse 1. Because, again, if I still have to convince you and the elders and the teachers and apostles and the likewise brothers, bishop, priests, okay, have to convince you and you're still not convinced, take a look at this. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Take a look at that. Look, Take a look at this uh, video here. What do you see here? Okay, you see the United Nations. You see uh, all of the uh, symbols there of all, all of the uh, the agencies that's connected with what? Great Babylon America. And there's a whole lot. Okay, it's not just only the military, but you're talking about the CIA, NSA, DIA, Homeland Security, and it goes on and on and on and on at agencies that we haven't seen yet. Okay, so they're all like riled up together because they have so much power right now okay this is why this man is so proud and it says the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers stay counsel again against the lord yahweh bashim and against his anointed saying let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us y'all see any representation from yashirala at the un meetings no we're not at the g7 we're not at the g20 summit take a look at these doggone devil that picture right there at the bottom left right there on the left hand side okay below the puppet masters okay who are being controlled by yahweh bashim on the left okay these are the leaders of the earth okay these are the leaders of the earth and yet still none of us is represented and we are a doggone nation and they know it they know it these doggone devils know it and it says he that sit in the heaven shall laugh who's laughing Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Take a look at the order of how everything works in this universe. Who's the creator? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. He gave the authority to his son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay, and the angels do what? To create everything. Okay, so there is an order. Okay, and you're taking a look at it right now. And it says, He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and wax them in his sword of pleasure. So we can see this is the part that we're looking forward to so much. Okay, this is the reason why we give all glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Every time we see these Edomites go inside their house and smoke the entire family, okay? When they go and crash into a doggone tree and get decapitated, okay? When those planes drop out the sky and kill, you know, three, four hundred of those are going Edomites on board of it. When the military force go over there and get jacked the hell out by a bunch of Aborigines or these people in, in uh, Mogadishu, okay? And they, they create a movie called Black Hawk Down. You gotta be by a damn bunch of people with slingshots, seriously, okay? So what more, how, 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 how are you gonna fear against the Medes, okay, who've been prepared for a time to destroy this doggone wicked queendom? Let's go into the book of Ephesians 1 starting verse 4 okay because what we need to look at here is this there is predestination here and in case you don't know that or these we know these other uh these other two-thirds they don't believe in it they don't believe that their life is predestined because hey Esau tell you go get your degree go to high school okay uh accept homose homosexuality you can change your gender if you want to you can worship a stick stone you can be whatever the hell you want to okay because you you have a choice you okay have a choice over your future and your destiny okay and it says according us he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love having predestined us into the adoption of children by Yahushua Mashiach to himself according to the good pleasure of his will to 
the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he had made us accepted in his beloved. Okay, so we are predestination. Many of us can come on and tell you a story that we all had different dreams. Yeah, you had the elder apostles and they want to be boxers. Some had businesses. Some were, you know, looking to go be NBA stars. You have uh, a lot of the brothers uh, into MMA. Okay, you got some of us that were in the service in the military. Some of us were, were consultants. Some of us, you know, we made a lot of money out there and we had no clue because we, we were thinking we were going to settle down in, in Pembroke, Cal- uh, 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 Florida or out in the Caribbean somewhere and retire with a couple million dollars in the bank. And that was far from what the Lord had determined for us, okay? He let us go out in the world to do what? To see evil so that we would know when we get into the kingdom, okay, that we would rule, okay, with righteousness because we have seen what wickedness does here on this earth. Let's go into the book of Revelations. This is the book of Revelations 11, okay, starting with verse 3, okay? Because, see, Esau, okay, Esau uses what? He uses, when Esau wants to do certain things in other nations, what he, he uses his special forces, okay? He uses his Navy SEALs, okay? SEALs, uh, it was a Team 6. T- SEAL Team 6 is their most, most uh, uh, adept special force, okay, that they have here in, in Great Babylon, America. And all these nations, in fact, have their own special forces. But guess what? The Lord uses what? Let's read it. It says, this is Revelation 11, 7, verse 3. It says, And I will give power unto my two witnesses. Who are the two witnesses? Northern kingdom, southern kingdom. Okay, those of us who fought those lashes, those of us who've worked in those cotton fields, those of us who've been raped, okay, murdered, pillaged, had our wives taken away, our kids taken and fed the alligators. Okay, we are now in this society right now at the bottom. Okay, eating GMO food. Okay, being laughed and smocked as, and, and mocked. Okay, and those of us who have taken up the plow to go out there on the highway and the byway to speak against this wicked devil on devil, okay, are being mocked and, and constantly filmed for a TikTok moment. Okay, but that's okay. And it says, they shall prophesy a thousand, two hundred, and three score days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded of their mouth and devour their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Needless to say, if you probably heard a, a, a Edomite actually read this part and talked about it like that and you see it in some of their movies where they portray they you know you know two white men you know standing up so-called white men stand up there and an actual flame of fire come out of their mouth and do wow like that come on let's be realistic here if that was the case like that these people will be pooping their doggone pants they'll come up with doggone you know Apache helicopters and Blackhawks to try to shoot you or kill you like that no this this fire is this word it's truth man this truth is hurting these people so much that they have to get someone like Kanye West okay a man that hasn't read one scripture of, of the Bible, but we don't know exactly what the, what the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai really has in store for him. Who knows? He could actually wind up, you know, losing everything and actually be on the highway in the Bible. We don't know, but, you know, we're watching him. We're watching the headlines because we know what? This devil trick. We are up to his devices. We cannot be tricked by this man's devices. So we're suspicious and we don't trust this doggone devil. Let's go into the book, okay, of Job, okay? Because the witnesses, okay, have been raised up right now and speaking. So you don't have to be afraid. Who is in control, brother? Okay, the Lord Yahweh Shimei is in control, good and evil. The script has already been written. It's predestined. Okay, this is the book of Job, chapter 14, and verse 5, and it says, Seeing his days are determined. Uh, Salakia, let's go back to verse 4, and it says, This is the book of Job 14, seven, verse 4, and it says, Who can bring a clean thing out of out of and unclean. So Esau, Esau, is, Esau is done. This is this is a defiled, vile abomination that was created to do what? Exactly what he's doing right now. Okay? He's a he's crap. He's absolute crap. And it says, seeing his days are determined the number of his months uh with thee, thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So guess what? We know, guess what? He's gonna reach up a, a pinnacle level of his technology, which is gonna be that MOTB. We know they have more than 5G. Come on, people. Okay, these people aren't operating on 5G. They're operating probably on dug on 10 Gs. Okay, you think the satellites are running on 5G? You think his deep underground military base are running on 5G? He has military forces that we have not seen. Okay, he, he knows. Okay, because he knows what is gonna take place. Okay, these military forces on the surface. Okay, these people are you know in a, in the National Guard and the Army Reserves and the the the, the regular Army and all the other forces okay are here to do what they're here to they're, they're, they're fuel for the fire they know that they're going to be consuming world war three he's already noticed okay this is the reason why he stuck and jabbed them he doesn't care about their health okay and he's also giving them inferior weapons to go do what to go fight each other because this is part of the scripture okay so esau has preparation already that he's going to be coming up against the lord Yahweh when he returns okay because he knows what let's go and find out okay because this is the true identity here if you're still not convinced that the so-called white man is okay the wicked of this earth the abominable the devil that we the, the devil of the bible speaks of this is the book of revelations 12 and 12 and who does this fit it says therefore rejoice 
ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. So we are dwelling with what? Yahweh Shai. We are in this truth. We are bringing out the gospel. Okay. We are going out there and doing what the Lord has put out there, us out there to go do. To be a witness against his wicked devil. And it says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil, the so-called white man, Esau, the Edomite. Okay, these people that you worship so much with them, with their, with their face on their FRN notes, has come down unto you having great wrath because he knows that he had but a short time. And this man is going to tear up this earth, destroy the economy of the United States, destroy the FRN note. Okay, which is going to collapse all the other currencies of the earth. This is reason why the United States dollar is the what the global economy, uh, the global currency. Okay, so when that collapses. All the other currencies of the earth is going to collapse. Right now, the yen is about 50% of what the dollar is. Okay? In one year, they lost 50% value. Okay? So that tells you who's really in charge. It's not Ammonite. It's not the Moabite. It is the Edomite, Esau, the so-called white man. Okay? And everything has been predestined, written. The Lord has made it very clear that this man has a, a, a time that he cannot pass. And the fact that his time is short, which is the reason why he's so angry right now. And he's doing all of this wickedness. He's like, hey. Man, six foot five, 200 pounds, go ahead. Put silicone boobs inside your chest, okay? And be a woman and go teach these doggone kids how to be a sodomite, okay? So Lord, when you edified here after you young brothers out there that are coming into this truth like that, don't have any fear, okay? Keep learning, keep listening to the elders teaching the parts of great Muslim, likewise brothers, okay? And also pick up the plow at some point in time, okay? If you haven't already and get out there because we need what? We need laborers to go out there on the highway and byway. The Lord is calling for you to get out there, okay? And stand up firmly against this wicked man because why? We are the two witnesses that he has raised up and we are predestined to win this battle. So I'd like to close by giving all great, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakakadash. Double honors to teachers that listen to parts of Great Millstone. Also, to you brothers that are putting up the truth, faithfully, fearlessly feeding the sheep, and to you brothers and sisters that are tuning in. Shalom.